Aloha, my friends, and welcome to MCK 101, brought to you by Maui Craft Kitchen and me, Don Marceau, where I show you the kitchen basics that are gonna elevate your home cooking game. In the last class, which I'll leave a link to now in the top, we learned how to butcher an entire chicken. And in this class, I'm gonna show you what to do with all those carcasses and giblets that are building up in your freezer. We are going to learn how to make chicken stock. Beautiful, luxurious chicken stock. If that sounds good to you, be sure to hit that like button and click subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest classes and content. Now, without further ado, let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Hey, all right, guys. Now, before we really begin, I wanna talk about the few separate ways that most people have available in their houses these days that you can cook chicken stock. The first two are relatively equal. We've got a slow cooker, we've got a stock pot. Both of these, you're going to bring the liquid up to a boil, reduce it down to a simmer, and let it cook for four to six hours. This option, a pressure cooker, which by the way, I am not endorsed or sponsored by any of these companies, yet I am open to negotiations. So the last option, we've got a pressure cooker. And if you don't have a pressure cooker in your house yet, this is worth every penny of the investment. It will save you tons of time, hours and hours. So the pressure cooker, you just simply set it and forget it for about two hours and then you're done. And that is it. So this is the option I will be using today. But by all means, feel free to use either of these. Just like I said, bring it up to a boil, reduce it to a simmer and cook for four to six hours. All right, here we go to chicken stock. I've done the first step for you because I have complete faith that you can do this on your own at home. Take all your chicken parts, lay them onto a cookie sheet just like this, pop them into a 450 degree oven for 50 minutes, rotating halfway through to ensure even browning. What this browning is going to do is give our chicken stock a nice deep chicken flavor. Next, just take your chicken parts and whatever vessel you choose to put them in, break them up as needed and make sure that they fit right inside. Now that you've got your pan clear, do not put this in the sink. All of these little caramelized bits on the bottom of the pan have a delicious, intense chicken flavor that you want in the pot. So how do you get it? While the pan is still hot from the oven, you've taken all your chicken parts off of it. Simply put a little bit of water right on that pan. Take this high tech instrument, something with a flat edge, and just push all of that water right around the hot pan, pulling up all that deliciousness just like this. And just pour that right in. Next, what you're going to want to do is add aromatics, things that have a lot of flavor, like garlic, celery, parsley, carrots. Yeah, carrots come in all different colors, that's okay. Onion, you can use the little bits and ends of the onion. You can also use the skin of the onion if you like. I just peel mine because it's just something else to strain out, so I peel it ahead of time. A Little bit of salt, a few peppercorns, this celery is basically the scraps too. It's just the tips and the ends and the bits. All right into the pot. Be sure to wash all this. I've done this ahead of time. Right into the pot. Next, we'll top this off with water just to submerge everything. Because I'm using a pressure cooker, I didn't want to fill my water level too high. Next, you're simply going to either cook this on the stovetop, cook it in your slow cooker, or like me, use your pressure cooker and cook this for two hours. When your chicken stock is done, simply strain the solids from the liquid, portion, and cool. As your chicken stock cools, 
A fat cap will rise to the top and solidify. This is not only completely normal, it is 100% delicious, and I recommend you put it in everything you're making. You can either use your chicken stock straight away or freeze it for future use. Wow, last class you guys butchered an entire chicken. This class, you made your own chicken stock completely from scratch. There is nothing you can't do in the kitchen. You guys are unstoppable. Be sure to follow Maui Craft Kitchen on Facebook and Instagram to find out what's cooking next. Keep cooking and keep having fun, my friends. Many mahalos and much aloha.